Hey, hey, hey. Wait. It's the age old question. Does size actually matter? Well, it depends on what you're talking about, but if you're talking about reflex bag training, the answer is absolutely yes. In this video, I'm gonna run through three of the most common glove sizes for boxing training. including some pros and drawbacks so you can figure out the best size glove for your unique goals and training style. Spoiler alert, there are more factors to consider than just the actual size of your hands. Let's go. And, and I won't lie. I'm hoping I get advances, this increases chance. Yeah. My life is like a prom, but there ain't no dance. Yeah. Let's get the party started with the big boys, the 16 ounce gloves. Universally, when it comes to boxing training, 16 ounce is like the standard size. Now, when it comes to evaluating size for a reflex bag, there are two factors we wanna consider above everything else. Protection and precision. Protection includes how much hand and wrist protection you're getting from the gloves and reducing your risk of injury. Precision includes how much control you have of your bag and how far you're able to develop your hand speed, accuracy, and overall technique. So you can think about it like a sliding scale. Let me get a bottle of bubbly for your entrance. The 16 ounce, the first thing that we love is that you're getting the most hand and wrist protection, which means if you're new to boxing training or you're using a reflex bag for the first time, you're gonna see just how hard it is to hit a moving target, you're gonna be missing, you're gonna be hitting your bag awkward. Sometimes you might miss and hit the bar underneath. So if you're new, protecting your hands and reducing the risk of injury is of utmost importance and you really can't compete with the hand and wrist protection that you're gonna get from 16 ounce gloves. Another pro that we like is the fact that you have more real estate. Bigger gloves equals I'm hitting my bag more often, smaller gloves equals accuracy is a lot harder with the bag. And finally, we love the versatility of the 16 ounce gloves. Meaning I can use these gloves for all of my reflux bag workouts. I can also take them to my local gym if I wanna do some mitt training or heavy bag work or sparring across the board. So if you're universally just gonna have one pair for the reflux bag and everything else, 16 ounces is the way to go. Okay, so now what are some things to consider with the 16 ounce gloves? The first one is that they are gonna be slower than the other pairs. Obviously, the more weight I'm carrying on my hands, the slower they're gonna be when I'm striking my bag. Now, this can be a positive or a negative based on what your goals are. If you really value fitness and getting the most out of every single workout, you're gonna get more muscle mass, you're gonna to tone up your upper body faster and better every time using the heavier gloves. But if you're a speed demon and you wanna impress your friends with your highlights and speed on the bag, then 16 ounces might not be the best for you. It all depends on what you value the most. Hop in the car, watch it go wrong. If we think about the protection and the precision as a sliding scale, we've got the 16 ounces all the way on the protection side. The 14 ounces are right in the middle. They stop and stay when they see me. If it's once, no need to we like them because we're getting good protection, close to a 16 ounce glove, and we're getting pretty good control as well. The drawbacks are that we're getting good protection, not the best, and we're getting good control, not the best. Overall, we're right down in the middle of the road. These are really good gloves if you have some experience training and you're not sure where you add up on the, on the scale. I'll use the 14 ounces when I'm doing my reflex bag training. Maybe if I was a little sore from the day before, but still want to be able to work my bag with precision and control right down in the middle road, 14 ounces is a pretty good place to be. You get what you want when you pop it. You do what you want when you hot. Finally, we have my favorite gloves for everything reflex bag training, and that's the 12 ounce little guys. As you can imagine, lighter gloves, less protection, but more control. One, two, here comes the five, six, disaster flow like. So starting with the pros, we're talking about elite level timing and bag control. If you think of hitting a reflex bag like surgery, these precise cuts, every little thing is gonna impact how that bag moves. And when you have some experience training and you wanna get into more advanced movement and techniques, the smaller gloves are gonna help you understand the finer lines of how to control that bag. The next pro is gonna be elite speed. Obviously, less weight, less resistance equals I'm letting the hands fly, I'm getting up to faster speeds with my bag and getting lost in that mind-body.
First con is gonna be minimal protection. So the downside of having that elite speed and that elite control is that I'm getting the least amount of hand protection and wrist protection, which means you wanna have at least a few years of boxing training experience or reflex bag experience before you're ready to substitute that protection for more elite control and accuracy. Overall, these are gonna be the best for more advanced folks who have some years of training under their belt and really wanna develop their accuracy, precision, speed, and technique to an elite level. Drop a comment if any questions come up about glove size that I didn't get to. If you own a Reflex or a Cobra bag and you're not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm dropping new drills and follow along workouts every single week. Oh, and a little bit of a bonus thought here that applies to all sizes. When it comes to laces or Velcro, I highly suggest getting the laces. You can get these little thingies called lace and loops that you tie at the end of the laces so you can do them yourself. They're kind of annoying at first, but you really get used to it. And the comfort and the protection of the laces, to me, is just unmatched compared to the Velcro. If you're all about the convenience of the Velcro, that's cool, I don't wanna mess with your system, but when in doubt, the laces are just gonna be a lot more comfortable and form-fitting. Naturally, I think it makes sense to follow this video up with a review of my favorite brands for boxing gloves. So keep an eye out for that. Until next time, your boy will see you again real soon. <laughs>